Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It's moment of inertia of a spiral and it's an original problem. And guys, you can unlock another spiral problem with 500 likes. And liking, sharing, subscribing is love. And uh, guys, we have completed 11,000 subscribers. So thanks a lot. You have been doing a, an amazing job. Thank you. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and uh, uh, my current courses uh, are INPHO Foundation and for JA Advanced 2023 Work Power Energy and Circular Motion will be starting in this batch tomorrow and uh, Emerge Batch for JA 2023 in this batch Kinematics is starting this batch is also starting tomorrow and Advanced course for JA 2022 uh, Electrical Instrument and Magnetics this course is also there are two courses Electrical Instruments is a separate course and Magnetics is a separate course and all these courses are starting from uh, 14th of uh, July and uh, there is another course uh, on uh, rotational mechanics we are uh, just about to end we are uh, at angular momentum you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation you can unlock these courses on unacademy using my code Nathan sir and for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the problem statement an expanding spiral lying in xy plane is given by the equation x square plus y square is equal to theta square where theta is the angle made by the position vector of a point p with the positive x axis so you can see here this is the position vector and this angle theta is uh, given here the linear mass density of a spiral varies with angle theta as shown uh, as given lambda theta is given as k by theta that means as theta is increasing uh, the value of uh, linear mass density is decreasing where k is a positive constant and find the moment of inertia of this spiral about the z axis and this theta is going from 0 to theta max all right so you can see linear mass density is decreasing otherwise we will be getting a, an increasing sequence so that's the purpose of uh, uh, if I take decreasing because distance is also increasing so in that situation this uh, uh, value of uh, dmr square will not uh, converge to a point and will have infinite value so in order to decrease that in order to solve this question the uh, linear mass density is taken in this manner so let's discuss this uh, problem concept wise since it is given this equation is x square plus y square is equal to theta square if instead of theta square it was r square this will remind you of a circle equation but here this angle theta keeps on changing as point is moving so it's like you may think it as a circle with increasing uh, radius something like this you can uh, think however let's say distance of a point from the origin uh, is r so for this point p r value i can write it as uh, x uh, uh, root of x square plus y square so from here you are getting r square is equal to theta square or r is equal to theta or dr is equal to d theta we can call it in uh, polar coordinate system also the polar coordinates are very handy tool in my opinion especially for physics so now here very important thing which you have to notice and uh, many of you if you will try most likely you will be making mistake in uh, this part unless until you are very careful about this. See here the common mistake normally students do is uh, at a distance of r and here uh, when ang angle becomes theta plus d theta distance becomes r plus dr. So if this is r, this extra distance, this is also r. So this extra distance is becoming dr. And this length is r d theta. And this length is dl. You can see a small triangle here. Now the mistake, common mistake people do is, they will just take uh, the mass dm of this element as lambda into r d theta. Please write in the comment section if you have committed this mistake or if you are careful about this and you knew about uh, spirals that we cannot take uh, length as length of element as r d theta please let me know in the comment section so now in this triangle you can see this extra length dr and this length is d a r d theta this angle is 90 so length of element is dl which i can write as dr square plus r d theta whole square all right 
and th- that is what i have written the length of element will not be rd theta as the element is placed along a spiral and not along a circle if it was a circle then it would have been uh, rd theta but not in this case in fact they make expanding a spiral makes some angle here and this angle is pretty large compared to uh, compared to uh, you can say uh, 1 degree or 2 degree uh, normally 30 degree 40 degree this kind of angle comes so here now it's very simple di i can write as dm into r square because this about z axis we have to find and its distance is given as r and this is dm so dm r square will be the moment of inertia where dm is lambda theta into dl into r square so now i'm going to calculate this d dl dl is going to be root of r square plus dr by d theta whole square times d theta it is something like uh, dl square is equal to dx square plus dy square it is exactly similar to that so this will become r square plus 1 times uh, uh, d theta because uh, r equal to theta is our equation so dr and d theta are equal and we are going to get dl value as root of 1 plus theta square d theta let's substitute all these values lambda theta is k by theta dl is root of 1 plus theta square d theta and one more theta square will come outside so here you can uh, check di is k times theta root of 1 plus theta square d theta now i hope you have understood why i have kept uh, linear char- uh, linear mass density as k by theta because it will make it uh, solvable and it will become a relatively easy integral so 0 to theta max is going to be the limit if they ask for 1 ton 0 to 2 pi 2 ton 0 to 4 pi so i have just taken for uh, general theta max uh, so 0 to theta max this value if i just substitute uh, this 1 plus theta square as t square i am going to get theta d theta equal to t dt so you can see it's uh, such a nice integral is going to come k integral t square dt when i simplify and substitute the value uh, according to the limits i get i axis as k by 3 1 plus theta max whole square to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 this is going to be the final answer for this problem so guys if you have enjoyed this uh, problem and uh, you have learned something in this uh, please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you